Oh, okay, let's let's talk about the fit because usually, yeah, when we're talking about a second round pick, right? Like fit is not something that even mostly enters the conversation a lot of the times. However, I think on a team like the Raptors, where again we have the Vision Six Nine thing, and everybody is a six nine forward. Christian Coloco is not a six nine forward. He's a seven footer, a genuine seven footer, right? Uh, he's got a nine foot. Uh, five standing reach. So to put that into perspective, that's probably the same as like a Clint Capella, right? Um, I've seen, um, you know, in terms of his defensive uh, abilities and sort of like the way he projects to fit as a defender at the next level, I've seen a lot of comparisons to like a guy like Narlins Noel, uh, who was also a seven footer with a seven foot five wingspan. So let's talk about the fit there. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, look, he, He's different from a lot of the guys the Raptors have, but is is that on purpose that the Raptors kind of did this move? Yeah, I think so. Like, I, I think it's a significant pick because, you know, obviously it's number 33 and he's not going to come into the league and be dominant right away or anything like that. Like, not even many players who are picked this low have long careers, but I think it's a, it's a you know, significant pick because it says something about the Raptors roster building, which is that... We've always speculated that, you know, the wing heavy stuff was more so out of, you know, making best of what they already had rather than this is what they're set on going forward. Mm-hmm. And and to me, this pick really shows that, like, they're admitting that they were missing some stuff on the roster last year. When you look at rim protection, a rim runner and rebounding, those are three things that Christian Coloco already does well. And I think are the reason that he'll probably play as soon as next season, even though he's a second round pick. And so it just kind of shows the their mentality is that like, yes, we like wings and we like length and mm-hmm. we like playing this aggressive defensive style, but we're not satisfied with only playing this defensive style. And that was that was evident at Nick Nurse's presser where he said, like, look, he can he can switch maybe decently well, but he's not a guy who we're going to want to play and switch everything coverage all the time. He's a drop defender. He's a guy that protects the rim. And so that's what's interesting to me is that they're kind of bringing in a new style with Christian Coloco because they're going to ask him to protect the rim and drop back. And that's just something they haven't had in in the past couple of years. Yeah, and you know what? It's really interesting because um, when you sort of like look at the bigger picture in terms of um, the the trade rumors that were sort of um, been attached to the Raptors over the last like year or so, basically, it's it's almost exclusively like the Raptors want a center and they want defensive type centers uh, who could protect the rim. Mm-hmm. A lot of these centers that they were linked to traditionally play drop coverage. Maybe they don't always play drop coverage, but like they pretty much mostly play drop coverage and uh, our rim protectors in the style of what Christian is. And so um, it is funny that, you know, uh, you get linked to all these guys and, you know, me potentially trade all these pieces for these guys. And the Raptors just like, yeah, we can also just use a 33rd pick and get somebody up that profile. And of course, like, I think playing next season, uh, if for a second round pick to be in the rotation for a playoff team within his rookie season would be a tremendous success. Uh, but it's also not out of the question. And And honestly, like, I think, it's funny because when you think about what he does, right? Like it, it's a very straightforward kind of player. Like I, I think, you know, I, I definitely will get more into the nuances with Adam and I'm sure there's a lot more um, detail that again, just fr- from the curse reviewer, like you and me, like it's harder to see, but you know, we, we have a clip here from Christian Coloco uh, describing his own scouting report. This should expect me to give everything I have, you know, just give everything for I have, uh, you know, the first thing I'm going to give to them is just my defense, you know, my defense, you know, just being that, that real protector, that uh, having that defensive presence, you know, me moving the way I move for somebody my size, uh, I think is really rare and it's really rare and unique and you know, just being able to switch on, to switch on guard and, you know, just the way the Raptors play, you know, they, they, they like that big, big lineup and I feel like I can play with, the, with whoever, you know, we have whichever lineup, it's a big lineup, a small lineup. I think I can be there. Just if you have to switch, I can do that. And, you know, offensively, just do whatever the coach wants me to do, you know, and whatever you want me to do. Like if he's setting screen, catch love, you know, having, if you want to have an open shot, uh, uh, take the open shot, you know, knock down a three or sometime, you know, just, I'm um, just willing to do whatever it takes to win. Yeah. So I think even just from that clip alone, like he's very aware, of sort of like, what he is and what he's going to be in the next level, which I think honestly, most of the conversations I've heard around this, um, either from from Nick, from from Bobby, obviously from Christian himself, it's like it, it's pretty clear they're very aligned in terms of like what his role is going to be. Um, you know, 
defensively, I think that's the part that, again, that's his strength. Um, uh, you know, there was something that Nick said as well, which was kind of interesting where it's like, look, if if he's really, truly able to hold down and protect the basket, I think that really gives the Raptors even more of a license to be aggressive on the perimeter, which I thought was really interesting to th- because, you know, you, you the one thing you want to think is like, okay, well, he's not 6'9", you know, maybe it's not as switchable, whatever, blah, 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 blah. You play in drop coverage. Raptors don't generally play that much drop coverage, but um, having that extra element of rim protection, like true shot blocking, where right? we're talking about a guy who, like at least at the college level, was just a phenomenal shot blocker. Uh, when you look at his per game totals, it was 2.8 blocks per game in playing 25 minutes a game. So, you know, uh, I think the per 40 minute, um, number would be pretty relevant in a Nick Nurse system. Um, but yeah, four four blocks per game. Uh, well, this over three seasons. Uh, four blocks per 40 minutes for Christian Coloco. But I, I think, you know, that element is interesting too. Like, I, I think, Oren, like, are, does this almost offer more flexibility and, and sort of more matchups um, that the Raptors may be able to cover um, because of the fact that they have somebody who now does something unique that that's something Bobby was also talking about. It's like, he is unique. And the Raptors were missing this element. And, you know, again, we're talking about 33rd pick. As I come in and as a rookie, he's probably not going to have this impact right away. Or if he does, it'd be great. But down the line, if he really sticks and he continues to work really hard as he's shown to do so far, does that not give the Raptors more options defensively in terms of how they want to match up? Yeah, for sure. Like, we're talking about a specialty player. And I think that's exactly what they needed and like there's kind of two sides to this when it comes to like all these rumors that the Raptors have been in for like these elite centers. And then, like you said, they just go out and draft one. Well, maybe all they need is a guy to play 10 to 15 minutes a night or in the playoffs, you know, a guy only to play maybe one series significant minutes or two series significant minutes that like really fits that style of play because it it does feel like the the switch everything wing heavy defensive style is still their primary nick nurse had a comment in that press conference last night saying if what we're doing is not working now we have this different option that we can go to so Mm. it's not like the raptors are about to revamp their whole style but i do think it's really like a good value play i guess you could say to where they're drafting a guy who can just be a specialist come in there 10 minutes a night maybe play some drop coverage if you want to give the guys like a little bit of a less physically taxing style to play for 10 minutes a night um and and just protect the rim do it he does really well and then like over the years he'll have some some potential to develop ball skills and and maybe grow into a bigger role but for for the foreseeable future he's going to be a specialist and yeah like that's exactly the type of specialist that the Raptors need in order to be more versatile mm-hmm. and to play, to be able to play different matchups and, and be able to succeed against different teams. I think we really saw that they were missing that last season. And so I'll be interested to see how they approach free agency because, you know, another thing Bobby said was that like, we try to treat the draft independently of free agency. Mm-hmm. We don't have really high expectations for these guys. So do they go out and get another kind of drop big uh, who can maybe fit in even in sooner? Or do they instead prioritize shooting right. or guard play in, in pre- free agency? 